that, let's get into understanding how the face of America is changing. What I'm going to be showing you are maps. Um, and I want you to pay attention to the, the orange and the red, basically showing how the country is changing from, from this is going to be projecting from 1980 to what we project for 1990. Um, 2020, well, for 2040. So as you see, 1980, we had the country, and you pay attention to the geographic areas where these changes are occurring, where you have people of color that are beginning to beginning to merge and to migrate into these areas. 2000, we're beginning to see more across the country. 2010, it was increasing further. This is what we project for 2020. Let me just pause and say, this is research that we're engaged with, uh, with a researcher economist at the University of Southern California, Manuel Pastor. And we've been doing this work with, this, um, with him for a number of years. And we also have been working with um, the, the groups that's been doing the projections. If you want to know more about that, I can talk with you more in the Q&A session. But just seeing in terms of what we're projecting by 2013, how the country is going to be shifting by 2040, you're beginning to see how we are beginning to change our culture and our complexion. I should pause and also let you know that there are four states currently where there is already majority people of color. And that is California, Texas, New Mexico, and Hawaii, where we already have the majority of the people who live there are people of color. So what does this mean for us in terms of how we're looking at the country? As we look at who are the populations that are growing. We're going to talk about the ethnic populations, but first looking in terms of ages. Ages 65 and older, you see less of people of color. It's mostly non-Hispanic whites. And as we look at children who are zero to four, that's where the population growth is occurring more rapidly. So we're seeing children, so women of childbearing age or people who are, who are beginning to migrate and have more children. So the children are the ones who are going to be much more people of color in, a, in, a, in, the, in the immediate future. So what does it mean in terms of our country? Well, what, basically one of the first things that we can say is that it's not the children who are voting, right? It's the people who are 65 and older who tend to be advocates and tend to be voting. So they're the ones who primarily help to shape America's policies and the agenda. And so we want to make sure that that population views children of color as still being their children to the same degree that they were the ones who really helped to support Head Start as a, as a viable um, a program that really makes a difference. Will they begin to see immigrant children and children of color who live here as still embracing them as being our children that we should all care about? Or will, will there be this more divisiveness?